Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and I thought it would be fun to come out and do a shopping video where I actually go around to the different lands and see what's fun to actually purchase. And I did this before at Epcot where I went shopping around World Showcase and a lot of you guys like that. So I thought today maybe we would try it out at Magic Kingdom. So let's go do this we're gonna start here on main street usa and then make our way around the magic kingdom hitting up Frontierland, liberty square adventure land fantasy land and then also Tomorrowland. and i think it's going to be interesting the things that we find there's a lot of different places we can buy stuff I do kind of want to find things that I think are unique or something that is actually connected to the land that we're shopping in, like something that says Frontierland or Main Street USA. That stuff kind of gets my attention, but also anything else that we kind of just feel like it's fancy, you know? We're just going to go for it and wing it. We could start in the Emporium, but I think we're going to head right on into the Crystal Art Store. Established in 1875, and I bet you we'll find some unique things in there. I absolutely love all the things they make in there. They blow glass, and I'm sure something there is going to catch my eye. Look at all the amazing items in here. Wow, and also I can hear them etching some glass over here. So maybe we'll take a peek see. I think this is unique because you can get personalized mugs. Look at that. That's a huge mug. Holy moly. But look at, oh, don't want to disturb them. <laughs> of course, some of the items in here are very expensive and they're also very fragile. So we're going to have to be a little careful. You can buy some tiaras and also some bracelets and charms. These are actually going from anywhere from $49 up to $80. And like I said, they have a little bit of everything for everybody. A nice pen set right here. A very expensive Simba that is almost $5,000 for Simba. But it's Simba. <laughs> I'm not really finding anything that's catching my eye in here. I mean, everything's catching my eye because it's so shiny. But I think we're going to have to go to another store and find something. Even though there is a Crystal Death Star that I was looking at. But I think I can do better. Look at those Star Wars crystals up there. There's two C-3PO's. And then right in the back corner there, there is a hanging, I think, well, it's a glass. That star and that's $500 so I think I'm gonna maybe try to find a different store <laughs> right outside the crystal art store they do custom silhouettes and I was actually thinking about doing that I think that would be fun to have a silhouette from Main Street USA it's always here and I walk past it thousands of times but I never did it and I think it would be fun like I said they're gonna do my hat my glasses and it's gonna look just like me I hope Right here is the stand, and I'll show you exactly the prices and what they're going to do. So you get a silhouette per person, and it includes one free copy for $10, and then you can get a frame for $9.95. So that means for just under $20, you're going to have a personalized, fancy-looking, fedorable man like myself. So he's going to do this side of my face, so I just got to look straight ahead. And uh, he's just going to sketch it. You sketch it, right? Cut it out. Cut it out. Oh, I'm excited. All right. <laughs> and now the finishing product there. Oh, you glue it right on, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Rose wallpaper paste. All right, I am blown away on how amazing this is. Look at, they even got the details of my beard and my mustache, my glasses, my brim of my hat. This is, this is so amazing. And you actually get two of them. So you get two for the price of one and they're both, you know, looking, well, they're not looking in a different direction, but they're looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at myself. 
Well, that was such an amazing deal. Best bang for your buck as it comes to like a personalized item from Walt Disney World. $20, you get two pictures, one frame. Honestly, the work that he did though, this was like top notch. I wasn't expecting it to look that great, but it is the best. So now Main Street USA is done. We can move to our next land. I'm going to try to keep a tally of how much I spend today, but I know that we're going to be buying one thing from each of the lands, and I think the next spot we're going to head is to Adventureland, because I think that's the closest from here. I cannot get over how excited I am about this, though. I don't even know where I'm going to hang it at my house, but it's going to look good. Look at that. <laughs> I want to try to make this as cost friendly as possible and I have to remember that we have other places that we're going to go to like in Liberty Square there's Memento More and that's going to be a store I'm probably going to find lots of things that I like so we're going to try to be as cost friendly as possible. There aren't many merchandise locations in Adventureland. I mean, if you want some fancy Ray-Bans, then we got you covered. But also, the Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop probably has a couple of nifty things we can check out. So, we're going to hit both of those places up. So, we'll check out the Island Supply here and see what they got going on. They might even have some deals on some glasses. They have some really nice Disney Ray-Bans, and these are Mickey Mouse ones. It's actually a new one. See in the back, they have an I'm Celebrating pin. I'm Celebrating New Mickey Ray-Ban April 2021. We're going to try to give you a little look at the glasses, too. Look at that. That's very nice, but probably very expensive. It is buy one, get one $60 off, but I don't know if we're going to be in line for that. Oh, yeah. The new Mickey Ray-Bans are $230, and you don't get an annual pass holder discount on them. Funny thing is, is you can get an annual pass holder discount on any other glasses in the store, except for the ones with Mickey on them. That's no pass holder discount. Figure that! So now we'll head into Plaza del Sol, the Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop, and we're going to see what they have in here. I was not expecting on walking in here and finding something immediately, but I think I did. <laughs> Take a look at all this amazing Jungle Cruise merchandise, including a Jungle Cruise cookie jar. Oh my word. i never seen this before. This must be new, but I like it. Oh, I almost lifted it up. How much is it? I think it's $55. That's not too shabby. I'm pretty sure I'm all in on the cookie jar, but I want to give the store a once over just in case something else catches my fancy. They do have some pretty cool items for Pirates of the Caribbean. Some coffee mugs. I'm not too sure what this is. It says Dead Men Tell No Tales. Is this a shooter? I don't know. But also, I do like this coffee mug down here because it has a lid on it. But what can I say? I mean, that cookie jar is just way too good to pass up and I bet you they're going to be sold out in no time. And they have a lot of other cool stuff. They have the ornaments, they have the t-shirts, the amazing, colossal, stupendous, eight wonder of the world, the backside of water! Thank you. <laughs> I am officially now the proud owner of a Jungle Cruise cookie jar. Now we're gonna make our way over to Frontierland and we're gonna cut through by the Country Bear Jamboree. So far we've spent just around $70. That's not too good, I wanted to be cost effective, but I didn't buy the Ray-Bans, so I guess that's cost effective. In Adventureland, I would have stopped at the Bazaar, but the Bazaar is just basically a seating area for Dole Whips now. I don't even think they sell anything over there. Yeah, the Bazaar is all shut down. I remember they used to have little snakes hanging from that tree there and a whole bunch of goodies in here. Now it's just a Dole Whip eating area. In Frontierland, they have a couple of places we can find things, including Big Al's Trading Post. There's actually one thing I actually thought about getting, but I don't know when or where I can wear it because it is way too hot in Florida. And here we are at good old Big Al's. And like I said, they have something here I really was thinking about buying, but there's no way I could wear this in Florida. $14.95 though. It's probably so hot. Oh my lord. You think I can get away with walking around wearing this? Whoo! Yeah! 
I know I'm pretty brave with wearing the spirit jerseys and the jackets and the hats in hot weather, but no way, that would never happen. Maybe back up in Pennsylvania. We'll hop inside the Frontier Mercantile, but first we gotta say hi to Chippendale up there. They're doing their things, they're probably hot today. Holy moly, <laughs> they got their nice cooling hats on though. One thing I noticed is they're not counting people as they're going into merchandise spots. So you can just walk in and out freely. They're not actually stopping people. That's a big change. Oh, and the cavalcade's coming. <laughs> but look at this. Nobody's sitting out here counting how many people go in and out. You can just walk in and out as you want. This store actually doesn't have a lot of Frontier, uh, like Frontierland items. It's mainly a lot of pins, magic bands, but there is something that is Frontierlandish and it caught my attention. So I think we're gonna be going in this direction. It's these magnets here, and they've got some pretty good magnets. Welcome to Westview, so this is from uh, WandaVision. And then over here, my other ride is a Nautilus. My other ride is a Doom Buggy. My other ride is a Monorail. And then of course, my other ride is the wildest in the wilderness. I think I might actually get this. I think it's so funny. Let's see how much it is. $14.99, not too shabby. Okay. Just as I was about to walk away with the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad magnet, I found something I think I like a little bit more. And that is a Mickey Mouse Sheriff badge. Look at these. $7.95 each and they're all different sayings. So this one says uh, Wild West. This one says Grandma. And that's very fancy. And this one says Boss. Over on this side, this one says Amigo, Princess. Uh, down here, I don't know what this says. Cow Puncher? Does that say Cow Puncher? I'm getting the Cow Puncher. <laughs> I could tell you right now, I just paid $7.95 to be official Mickey Cow Puncher, and I could not be happier. I don't even know what a Cow Puncher is. I should probably look that up. But I think it's so funny and unique. I had to get it. Frontierland done. Now, on the Liberty Square. <laughs> Technically, there are two very good shopping places here at the Liberty Square. Memento More, which is the Haunted Mansion gift shop, and then also the Ye Olde Christmas Shop. That is a Christmas shop that's all year round. So we're gonna take a look in both of them. Cow puncher is another word for cowboy. So that's good, I'm really happy I got that. And I think totally now we're around just under 80 bucks. Uh, I have to say I did kind of estimate or try to see how much it was gonna cost me to do this video today. And I was thinking around maybe 120, 130 dollars. Now I don't know if we're gonna be able to meet that goal because you know at the same time, I do wanna buy things but I also wanna buy things that I, I think I'm most interested in. You know what I mean? Like I could've gotten something cheaper than the cookie jar but I was like I gotta have the cookie jar and I could have gotten something more expensive than the cow puncher badge but I wanted the cow puncher badge so it is whatever the heart desires as long as we're not going too crazy gray bands it's out of my blood can't do that <laughs> now on to the ye old Christmas shop we'll see what they got going on in here but memento more is calling me <laughs> It always smells so amazing in here. They have a nice selection of ornaments, a couple of new ones, and uh, I think there's one in particular that's newer that I haven't seen before, so I'm gonna point that one out first. Here is a Main Street Cinema ornament, and it actually says Steamboat Willie on it, and this is right now the temporary location for the confectionery. These are hand-painted. Look at how fancy that is. How much are they, $29.99? Yeah, that's not too bad. And then down here, they have the happiest, most magical place on earth ornament. I almost said happiest place on earth, but in the same way it is. And it's Disney Parks Blown Glass. These are so nice. And they have tons of different selections of things. But I think we're gonna head on over to Memento More. First though,
those ornaments are pretty nice, but I want something like frightful. I want a haunted mansion something. That's like my thing. I mean, it's my favorite attraction in Liberty Square. I mean, there's not many. It's almost my favorite attraction in Walt Disney World. I feel like when people ask like what your favorite ride is or anything like that, that is a hard conversation piece. I really couldn't even give you a top three because I would constantly take one away and just be like, no, no, I love that one too much. I just love them all. <laughs> And here it is, Memento More. Usually there's a line to get in here. I don't think we have a line today. Lucky us. Lots of good things inside here. I love this Haunted Mansion blanket over here. $59.99 it is. Ooh, it's got that material though. I feel like that would make me itch. So I'm probably not going to get that. But it's still a very nice pattern. They have a lot of cool figurines over here, like a Madame Leota one. This is $140. And then they have a ghost jar where you can bring a ghost home. That is $29.99. See, a lot of good stuff here, and it makes it hard because you want to buy everything. This right here is really cool. I've been eyeing this up for a while. It's $80. But look at that. It moves. It's got the 13th power. Oh, choices. Even though I want that clock really, really bad, I think I found something that I need to get. And it's not for me, but I definitely want to get this for her. Gracie is well overdue for a new dog collar. And the one that she has now is a Haunted Mansion one. And it was actually made by someone who watches the videos, Jerry and Mary. So thank you, Jerry and Mary. Her dog collar, uh, she's been wearing that for the past two years, the same one. And I still use the leash that you made her too. And she loves it, but I feel like it's almost hitting its end point. So it'd be nice to get her another one. And this is nice, look at that. Very sturdy, very nice, $17.99. And then also maybe a harness. But I don't know what size she is though. See with harnesses I hear you have to be very like particular and measure it. So I don't know if we'll do that just today. But the, the collar? Yeah, I think that would be fun. Well, it was decided. Gracie got a new collar. So let's just recap a little bit. We've got a silhouette, we've got a cookie jowl, we got a cow puncher, and now we got a collar. I think we did pretty well. We're just about at $100, and uh, we still have two more lands. We have Fantasyland and uh, Tomorrowland. So uh, we're gonna go over our original budget, but it's okay, because I'm having a great time making this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I think it's so fun. It's like an adventure, and uh, I can't wait to see what else we're gonna get now. Now there's technically two really good shopping locations here in Fantasyland too. Hey, who are ya? <laughs> there's one that is in the PhilharMagic's gift shop, and then also the Art of Disney store that used to be on Main Street USA, which is now the temporary location for the confectionery, is actually back here by Gaston's Tavern. So we'll check both of those out, and also Sir Mickey's. I totally forgot about Sir Mickey's. I was just walking around and I realized I don't need my mask anymore. I, I do that often. I really do forget about it. You got so accustomed just wearing it that you just put it on and you just completely forget. I've driven all the way home with my mask on before. And once I got home and I got out of the car, I was like, what was I doing? But it's just something that we just kind of got used to. And it's going to be hard to break that habit and just feel like, ah, again. Even though we want it, it's just hard to do it. I don't know why. Here is the merchandise location right outside Mickey's Fill Her Magic. And I like the decorations in here, especially over on this side because you can see it's all themed for Fill Her Magic. Look at Donald up there. There's Maestro Mickey. And then the whole entire band is here. Now they don't have many of things that are just kind of focused for Fantasyland, but I'm sure we'll find something. If not, we have some other stores to go to. They have a nice selection of It's a Small World uh, merchandise, including this one that says, I conquered It's a Small World, and even a snow globe. Look it. Well, that's really nice. Dare I? Is it going to play It's a Small World? Because that's like important.
I think we're gonna head on back to the Beast Castle and see what things they have to offer over there. Really didn't see much in there. I did like the It's a Small World stuff, but I think we could find something a little bit better. Something I'm just like, oh, that's the one. That's the silver tuna. <laughs> I also need to get something to eat today, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to be eating. I don't know if we're going to go to Gaston's Tavern or if we'll get something over in Tomorrowland. A lot of good offerings either way. I don't think it's going to be Gaston's Tavern. It looks like there is a hefty line of people waiting to get items from there. So maybe we'll wait till Tomorrowland. Lots of people trying to get that gray stuff because it's delicious but where we're going is in bonjour village gifts and this is like i said before the uh, art of disney store now they have some amazing things in here some things that are actually very expensive too but i'm kind of like oh, i want that and there's a lot of things like i said but you have to you have to compromise you have to feel good about the price and feel good about the product so you might feel good about the product, but then you're like, oh no, that's a little too expensive. You're gonna have that buyer's regret. You wanna have that happy medium. That's where I wanna be. For instance, I want this. I think it's beautiful. Look at that framework. And this is an actual original custom art, but the price, $3,500. Okay. Holy moly. That is so expensive, but it's magnificent. I love it. They do have a lot of neat, like Beauty and the Beast things here though, because it's actually right over here by Beast Castle. And some of these items are really awesome. If you're a big fan of Beauty and the Beast, you're gonna love it. You can get yourself a Beauty and the Beast handheld mirror. And look at that, Beauty is from within. It's only $29.99. And then a couple of the character statues here. This is so cool. I love this. It's an actual enchanted rose. And I have one out of the box over here. I'll show you that in a second. I don't know how much this is though. Yeah. There it is. It's $69.99. Holy moly. It's a snow globe though. That is pretty. I like it. Nothing in here is really popping out to me and giving me that happy medium feeling There is one thing I would have gotten but now I can't get it because I already got one and I'll show you what that is It's this Mickey cookie jar $40 I would have totally gotten this cookie jar, but I already bought a cookie jar today How many people do you think in the world can say wow? That's enough cookie jars. I already got one today Like <laughs> I don't think I can walk out of here with two cookie jars. It is a nice one though. Ooh. Oh, yeah Hello. <laughs> well, this is gonna be tough. I mean, I don't wanna settle for something that I don't want in Fantasyland. So I think we're gonna head on over to Sir Mickey's, see what they have there. I mean, we're gonna, we have to find something, it's Fantasyland. Before I backtrack back to Sir Mickey's, I think I'm gonna dive into the 100 Acre Goods and see if they have anything in here. A lot of this is Winnie the Pooh stuff, but they might have some Seven Doors Mine Train items, and I think that would be cool. They have some nice Winnie the Pooh mugs. They have Eeyore and Pooh Bear, and these are $19.99. They also have a couple of other Winnie the Pooh items, and these are a little bit different. Like, look at this one. I like this one. This is more or less after the, the, the book itself. And that's kind of fancy. It's a nice little mug. Oh, that one's on clearance. $13.99. A clearance item here at that Magic Kingdom? Wow, actually, it's all on clearance. The pillows, too. $17.99. That's kind of fancy. The bag? $12.99? Holy moly. Even though all of that uh, merchandise was discounted, really wasn't anything for me in there so one more stop and i don't even know if they have any merchandise locations down there but we're gonna head on over to storybook circus i'm not too sure that there is anything open over here but i could see if they have any popcorn buckets over here because they usually have a good popcorn bucket selection and that might be something I would be interested in buying. I uh, haven't had a collection of popcorn buckets before, but I thought about starting it and uh, I don't know, it would be a good idea to do this like my first one. Perfect, they have a Steamboat really popcorn bucket. I think that would be a good first to start a collection now. Now I think I'm gonna be in the popcorn bucket collection game. I think this is gonna be, a, this is a good, I feel good about this. This is that happy medium feeling, I feel good. There it is, right there. 
$18 and plus I can get some popcorn. Now I kind of got two birds with one stone because I got a nice snack and I bought something in Fantasyland. <laughs> I asked for it with the popcorn on the side because I kind of just like the way it looks so I wanted to preserve it. Also, I didn't want to spill my popcorn as I walked around because now I have a bag hanging off me and then a bag in my hand. We are definitely running out of hands to hold things because I still have the camera. And we got Tomorrowland to go to next. So now we need to recap. We end up getting a silhouette. We got ourselves a cookie jar. We got ourselves a cow puncher. We got ourselves a dog collar, a new popcorn bucket. And now we're heading into Tomorrowland and our first stop is Star Traders. Here it is. Ooh, they got the new Corella stuff coming out. Oh boy. Now, I can't pass judgment because I haven't seen the new movie yet, the Corella DeVille movie. My mask is upside down, but they have a new line of merchandise, and I have to say, I don't think I like it. I mean, I don't get it. I mean, I love Corella DeVille. I love the 101 Dalmatians. Look at the people mover going by up there. But I don't understand this. I guess I have to see the movie. There's no spots. There's nothing. And they just have regular dogs. Where's the Dalmatians? They have this dog, and then they have this dog over here. But I don't see any Dalmatians. So I'm like, huh, I wonder. I guess I'll just have to watch the movie. But I was just like, wait a second. This store is nice, but nothing really Tomorrowlandy. Tomorrowlandy. <laughs> I like that. Nothing really Tomorrowlandy. <laughs> I know where they do have some Tomorrowlandy items, and that's over in the Space Mountain gift shop. And I bet you I'll find something good in there. If Inside the Tomorrowland Power Company, they're generating a bright new tomorrow. Did anybody else notice that there is a clock right there? And it's kind of like in the shape of a hidden Mickey gear. Very interesting, huh? And I bet you they have a lot of good Tomorrowland stuff in here. They have a lot of cool Tomorrowland things in here. They've got shirts that say, give me my space, Space Mountain Tomorrowland. They have Space Mountain coffee mugs. Oh, those look fancy. Not too ideal to drink out of. I don't even know if they're coffee mugs. They might be miniature cookie jars. They also have some Tomorrowland merchandise. And uh, oh, they do have Space Mountain cookie jars. How funny is that? I might have to start a Space Mountain or I might have to just start a cookie jar collection. I mean, I got the Jungle Cruise one, but this looks really fancy. How much are they? Oh, $40. That's not too bad. Honestly, I really, really do like that Space Mountain cookie jar. I don't think I would use it as a cookie jar. I think I would put it up with my monorail set, like next to the contemporary, like above my kitchen. I don't know if you guys ever seen my house before, but I think that would look good. Oh, I might be sold on it. Honestly, I might be sold on the Space Mountain cookie jar. <laughs> yep, I think I'm getting it. I don't know how I'm gonna carry this all the way out. <laughs> oh boy, we've got a lot of stuff, but it's coming home with me. And with that, I think we are done here today. I think we did really good. We got a lot of fun stuff and we spent around $150. Uh, that was a little bit over budget than what I wanted to do, but $150, I got two cookie jars, I got a new dog collar, I got my fancy badge. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I got a new popcorn bucket. Uh, I think I did pretty well, like I said. And uh, it was a fun video and it's about the memories. That's how I feel. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see See you next time. Bye. Can we take a second and appreciate these monorails going by right now? It's the perfect time of the day right now.